Hello, uh, my name is Alexandra Raonic. I'm an architect and associate professor of architecture at Faculty of Architecture and Design at NTNU Norway. And here I present a research paper called Experimental Spatial Drawing Techniques as a Framework for Critical Discourse. This paper presents and discusses a pedagogical experiment conducted at the foundation level of architectural studies at NTNU Norway for the first time in the academic year 2021. The pedagogy formulates a week-long educational framework in the form of an intensive knowledge exchange workshop. It departs from the theoretical grounding that helps contextualize the students' work it resorts to several other disciplines, visual arts, film, philosophy, etc. The pedagogy encompasses embodied learning experiences with hands-on experiments, interactive lecture tutorial sessions that navigate the course of actions. The pedagogy is situated at an intersection between art and architecture, but also in between assumptions and critical thinking, and in between traditions and innovation. This particular framework has been designed and initiated to complement the existing foundation level curriculum at NTNU called Form Og Fage, that equips students early on with relevant drawing and representational techniques which they are to employ and develop further in their studies and work life. It builds on the existing curriculum by challenging a concept of a drawing as a 2D media limited to a sheet of paper and introduces students to drawing in the expanded field. A protocol purposefully developed by the author outlines spatial drawing techniques and teaching design strategies employed. Some of the strategies, such as translation of drawing properties into material properties, make way for critical consideration of the prevailing notions and habitual ways rooted in the discipline. Salient features are drawing in the, in the expanded field, three-dimensional linear drawing in space, translation or drawing properties into material properties, examining the relationship between drawing, art installation, architecture, embodied experience of drawing becoming architecture, site-specific design, and experiencing participatory art through group work. The purpose of the exercise is to challenge the notion of a drawing as a mere 2D medium and to question its relationship to space and to the way we think and create spaces. As such, it comes as a very last exercise that was given to the students within this course. Prior to it, students go through a semester and a half of, of traditional training in drawing and representational techniques. The main objectives of this educational construct, as described in the task's brief, are we will challenge the notion of drawing as something strictly limited to paper and let our lines depart the paper into the environment. Thus, instead of on a paper, we will be drawing three-dimensionally in space. By doing this, we will blur the difference between a drawing and an art installation and see how the two relate. More importantly, we will get a new outlook and a better understanding of a relationship between the drawing as representation of architecture and architecture itself. We will directly dive into and facilitate the metamorphotic process of a drawing becoming architecture. The above objectives point to the underlying motivation for designing this exercise 
to add to an already established curricula for the Form and Fage course. The primary motive, motive is to bring closer students of architecture to their works of art. Unlike the artists, in other creative disciplines, sculptors, painters, designers, the architects never get to be in direct contact with their work of art. It is only through a number of other mediating factors, engineers, construction workers, humans and machines that are involved in the process that the creation comes to life. Contrary, contrary to the popular belief, architects do not make architecture. They make projections, miniature representations of a building in 2D, a drawing, or in a 3D, a model, that convey an idea of architecture to some degree. The, ex the extent of how well this idea gets projected and communicated further to those that follow in the architectural design process varies and depends on how well the architect masters hers or his visual communication skills. This leads us to the fundamental issue in the process of architectural design and architectural education, lack of embodied experience and therefore lack of a way of acquiring new knowledge. An issue that, among others, Johanny Pelasma repeatedly points to in his writings and lectures. Consequently, the thinking hand, our main haptic device, does not get an opportunity to think and therefore to learn. Only through haptic experience, we can begin to understand and learn about the social and material world that surrounds us. This task is framed so that the students are faced by questions that we sometimes forget that need be asked. Firstly, question of the difference between a drawing, an art installation and architecture in that inevitably arises. Is there any difference? And if so, what is it? Secondly, the site-specific aspect of the task presents an opportunity to question and rethink various architecture elements and situations around us. What is a corner or what it could be? What is a door, a window, a ceiling, a floor? The task invites students to deconstruct the known definitions of these notions, to decompose and, th and through their work to construct their own a new understanding of what these elements in space mean and what they can evolve into. This approach is largely inspired by Dewey's theory and his text, Art as Experience, which Palasma also refers to in his book. It is an attempt to shift the understandings of what is essential and characteristic about the art process, from its physical manifestation to the process whose fundamental is the development of an experience. Experience is something that personally affects one's life, foremost one's social and educational life. Activities and timeline of the workshop called Architectures in Love looks like this. Day one, developing a scenario, art reference, choose an art reference, a poem, a film, a song, an installation art, a photograph, to capture a glimpse of love from, brainstorm. Brainstorm with your team on how to capture love from the artwork and debate. What kind of love is it? Is it a silent or loud, a secret, expressive, messy or neat, etc. Discuss your findings and how you could express them using sticks and yarn. Exchange. Exchange and communicate with other groups. In 
and for the sketch model. Start sketching your scenario in a 3D physical model and not on a paper. Site. The installation is to be site specific. Choose a specific location to work on, a corner, a ceiling, a floor, wall, chair, or spaces in between, a chair and a wall, a chair and a ceiling, etc. Think about the relationships between these elements in space. Day two, sketch your scenario through a model. Continue working on sketching out your scenario through a model. Day three and day four, art installation in one-to-one. -one. Start translating your 3D sketch into a real life scale on your chosen site. Think about how your work relates to the one next to it. Is your work in love with it? Is your work in love with a piece of architecture it is attached to? How do we sketch in space? We start by translating drawing properties into material properties. The properties of a line can be translated as straight, hard, wood sticks, curved, soft, yarn. Drawing material is our building material. Basic drawing material slash building material are wood sticks and yarn. Additional drawing material slash building material would be a variety of things. Wood, stone, MDF blocks. Or mysterious objects, papers with messages. So students draw the spatial narratives into specific sites. Here we see a drawing in a corner. They rethink and redefine their spatial, their spatial capacities. Here we see a ceiling. And so a corner extends into a room. And a window being a threshold between inside and outside introduces time as a site for intervention. Leading us to the outside where the trees contour new spatial constructs. Students are used to working manually and constructing large-scale models in architectural design courses. They are also very much used to draw two-dimensionally. This is the first time, however, for them to experience drawing that is not limited to a sheet of paper. Instead, it is performed three-dimensionally in space. This exercise allowed them to question everything assumed to be known as does Klaus Rinke, while tracing along the thoughts of many other pioneering artists and thinkers of the 20th century who were remodeling the role of an art in society. Driven by theories and art practices employed as references in experimental spatial drawing workshop, the workshop operated as a testbed for a new kind of educational approach at a foundation level of architecture. This paper argues that through the making of their three-dimensional drawings, site-specific constructs, students set a critical discourse in motion that examines these notions. While it builds on the discourse that looks at the relationship between a drawing, an art installation and architecture, it makes a case that in the long run, similar pedagogical approaches may advance the way we think and create spaces. 
in line with Jewish and Boyce's thoughts for the need of democratization of art, we developed the workshop further. We ask, if performed in public spaces, as opposed to the studio classroom, what would the public aspect bring along? Would the participation of citizens make a positive impact to the learning experience or not? The workshop's next iteration, entitled Hearts of Hannah Riggen, is happening at present, placing these thoughts to dust. Students no longer work behind the closed classroom doors. Their work is part of the Hannah Riggen International Triennale 2022 Anti-Monument. It is, it is exhibited in the Trondheim Kunstmuseum, Grumulna, as well in several public areas in the city. The pedagogical intention behind was that students connect to the context they live and work in, both culturally and physically. Through their work, they interact with the local as well as with the global milieu. The pedagogy thus evolved into a specific cross-border collaborative pedagogy across the borders of the classroom to the community, to the public areas, streets, museums, building sites. We cross borders of the academia and collaborate with various institutions, Trondheim Commune, Kunstindustrie Museum, Trondheim Kunstmuseum, Kunsthalles, etc. We cross the border between teaching and research. The workshop is a part of the international research project called Threads of Innovation, an academic collaborative project between NTNU Norway and SEPT India awarded Utforsk 2020 by Norwegian Ministry of Education and Research. Finally, we cross the borders of a country and collaborate with two other schools of architecture and design, University of Antwerp, Belgium, and our Threads of Innovation partner institution, SEPT University, India, who performed the workshop in parallel and we exchanged the workshop experiences.